There's one more component we forgot to add, and this one's going to be really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, let's just go ahead and open up uh, this plunger top plate. And I'm going to say save as, make sure that I check save a copy, and then uh, plunger top plate. Let's just change that to um, plunger, I don't know, coil spring. Save it. And uh, close the document. Don't need to save it. And um, I'm just going to go, uh, first of all, open up the subassembly. So I can just say file, or just click on it and click open. And then I'm going to insert a uh, component. This turn, not new component, but a regular component. Browse. Now we'll find our coil spring that we just created. I'm going to have to change views here to be able to see it. <coughs> and click the checkbox. And now it's in place. So let's open up that coil spring part. And um, I don't actually want any of these pieces. All I really wanted was just to have that move body in place. So I'm just going to delete all of that stuff. Delete those sketches. Don't need those. All I need is this one body right here. So I'm going to move it. And right now it's moved just a little bit. And I would like it to be moved quite a bit, like maybe five millimeters, and we can always adjust that later. So let's go back um, and let's look at the maybe front plane. And I want to draw a sketch. And on that sketch is going to be a line. I'll just make a vertical line, and I'm going to make it pierce this edge right here. And I don't know how long it needs to be yet. I'm going to make it go down, though, so that we can see a little bit better what's happening. And go ahead and exit the sketch. We can adjust this later. That's the beauty of working with you know, parametric software. So I'm going to go and go to um, Swept Surface. And we're going to sweep this edge along this edge. Now, the beauty of this is we're going to go to Options here underneath Profile and Path, and where it says uh, follow path, we're going to change that to twist along path. What that's going to allow us to do is set an angle, for example, 360 degrees. And as I keep going up, you'll see that I'm getting more and more twists as it goes around and around. Now, I actually want 360 times 60. I want a whole lot of degrees. That's going to go around just enough times so that we can create a spring that goes all the way through all of the holes, all the way around our um, uh, top plate. Now let's uh, we can hide this surface. Don't need it anymore. Go to the top plane and actually, you know what? I lied. We do need that surface. I'm just gonna click on it and from there we're gonna create a sketch. So I'm just gonna create a circle on that face. I'm gonna have to show the face to do it. Create a circle on this face. There we go. right about there. <clears throat> click the center point of the circle, click the outer edge of this helix we've created, and say pierce. And then set the size of the circle to be something like uh, maybe one millimeter it looks like. That would probably be appropriate. Now we can hide this surface. And under Features, we have uh, Swept Boss Base. So I can just run that, use this as my cross-section, use this edge as my profile, and if everything works out well, keep your fingers crossed, we should end up with a very nice solid spring. There it is. So we'll just go ahead and hide this surface that we don't need anymore. And uh, that should do it. Let's go ahead and we can close this document. Yes to save. And now we have a spring in place. And it looks like it's very nearly perfect. Um, it just needs to be a little bit higher, perhaps. And maybe the radius is bigger than it needs to be. So the beauty of this is I can now edit this in context. So I'll just go into my coil spring. And I'm going to click on it once and say Edit Part. So I can edit it right here in the context of my assembly. And then change the distance of our move. And right now it's being moved 6 millimeters. Let's pop it up to 7. 
and it'll have to think for a minute to update. And now I'll also go and change that original sketch, give it a dimension, because right now the dimension is way too long. Uh, so let's just give it a length, and we'll call that two millimeters perhaps. That's looking much more like it. And I think we've ended up with a spring that'll actually work for us. So we can exit that component. We can even go ahead and close this document. Save all if we want to. Now that's pretty cool if you ask me. Now there are just a few other little details we'll have to take care of, so let's go ahead and do some of those.